Next up, we want to add some of these different hatches to the floors because we know that in the master bedroom, this is all going to be carpet in here. Through this hallway, you're going to have, uh, I think it was timber, and then in the bedrooms, there'll be carpet as well. All right, so the first thing we want to do is add a carpet hatch to the carpet in the bedrooms as well as maybe that study there. I'm just going to change the name of that to study. So that's going to be these three bedrooms and also the master bedroom and the walk-in robe. So let's go ahead and change that material. So I'm just going to highlight that floor there just so we can bring it up. I'm going to use the filter tool, check none and bring up floors. So it's just going to select that one floor there. And you can see that's brought up the floor carpet. I'm going to edit that type and edit the structure of that. And now we're going to edit the carpet material and I'm going to check these three dots here. So now I'm going to change the surface pattern for that carpet under graphics and you'll see it's got the foreground surface pattern and that's what we want to change. So I'm going to hit the where it says none over pattern. I'm just going to look for something that looks like carpet. Now I'm looking for something that's kind of sandy. I'm thinking even the gypsum plaster hatch could work or perhaps something a little bit more sandy like this. Let's give that a shot, the sand dense. We'll apply that, and you can see that looks maybe just a little bit too dense. So I'm gonna use the other sand hatch. So that looks good. What I might wanna do is change the color of that hatch to be something a bit lighter, or I can leave that how it is for now, and we can change that in the visibility graphic settings, um, which I'll show you in a moment. Just gonna hit okay on that, and hit okay, and hit okay. Let's have a look at how that looks. Not bad at all, it looks carpety. But you can also see that that carpet is running through the hallway and the study. So rather than creating a new slab for this floor, what I'm going to do is use the split surface tool. And if that's under the modify tab, if you come over to where it says geometry, that's this button here. So what I wanna do is select this carpet face. And now I can start drawing in a split face for this. And we touched on this in the last course. So I won't go too in depth with it, but I'm just gonna draw an outline where this um, carpet would not be. So I'm just gonna draw this up to that wall there and then back to there. I'm also going to have to do the same thing on this side. So I'm just going to follow that line there and follow this line around the wall. And I can actually probably delete this line because that's on the boundary line anyways. So if I accept this, we're going to see that we now have a split face region of just that hallway. So I can now use the PT tool or paint tool by coming up to the top here and pressing paint in the modify tab. And I want this to be a, um, a material that has horizontal lines or vertical lines that are going down to represent wooden slats. You can see that in the study, it's got carpet there. And then there are also carpet in the bedrooms. And I'm going to assume that um, although I can't see it, that there's going to be floorboards that go across the hallway. So I'm going to try to find a timber material that we can apply to this. And I might just use this wood timber. You're going to see that material be applied just to that part of that slab, which is good, but it doesn't have a hatch on it. So I'm going to have to edit this material by going to the manage tab and clicking on materials. And now I'm just going to look for that wood timber and it should pop up here. You can see that it's got a diagonal cross cut pattern but it's got no foreground surface pattern. So I'm gonna click on this pattern here and we can use a model fill pattern. And we're gonna find something that is vertical. So I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom and here you can see we've got a 75 millimeter vertical hatch pattern. If we apply that, you can see that that now looks like it's got floorboards, except they might be a little bit too close to each other. So what I'm going to do is instead duplicate this fill pattern with this button here I'm going to make this a 150 millimeter vertical. And under line spacing, I can just change this to 150 and that should double the distance. So I'm gonna click OK and apply that. And there we have it. We've got that timber slat in there as well. Now you're going to see that these hatches are very bold and kind of sticking out at you, which you don't really want. You want them to be subtle, a bit like this carpet. So what I'm going to do is use the visibility and graphic settings by pressing VV and I'm going to go down to where we've got floors. Now for where it says projection slash surface, we're going to look at the surface patterns. So we can come down here and override that surface pattern for the floors. Now all we're going to do is just change the color so that all of the floor hatches are going to be the same color and we're going to make it just a light gray, something in the middle about there. 
when I hit OK and apply this, you'll see it changes the surface patterns, the color of all of those hatches. So now we've got a consistency, whereas you saw that the carpet was a different color before. Now they're all exactly the same, which is good. So if we hit OK, you can already see that that makes this a lot more legible, a lot more readable. These room tags are now actually being able to be read rather than them having a uh, floor hatch over the top of them. If you'd like to get access to all of the course files, materials and resources, as well as 20 hours of ad-free content, you can feel free to check out the full course on my website. I'll see you there.